um, PLWK400. Just through the CDN, and then I'm going to be uh, going through the uh, utility here to get this set up. I've got it plugged into the larger unit right now, which is basically the uh, the home unit that will be connecting to your wireless router. So let's go ahead and launch this, and we'll get this thing uh, up and running. All right, so here we go. We've got the install all set up, and we're going to go ahead and get logged into the actual power line adapter. I went in here to the wireless settings and it tells you what the IP is that you can access through the browser. I always think that's a better option. So what the admin username and password is, just admin and admin. We'll go ahead and get logged in here. You can do automatic detection. Um, you can name the device name to whatever you would like. Um, you can go under here and do the uh, wireless settings here. I'm going to actually disable WPS because it's actually very unsecure. I'm actually only going to be using the, um, the setup for just the wireless password. So it looks like this thing restarts each time you do uh, a change. So we're going to we'll go ahead and wait for it to complete. So that's done. Let's go ahead and finish with the rest of the setup. Right now it's showing the different settings here. I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, WPA2. Type a little password in here. Unfortunately, it looks like each time you make a change, you uh, have to go back into the website and uh, keep uh, keep going back in, basically, which I'm not really a fan of, but what can you do? So you can see that the wireless is set up now. You can register a Wi-Fi protected setup now that we've got that configured, got the wireless configured. You can also set up the MAC address filtering. Um, let's go in here under administration. Here you can actually uh, reset the password to uh, actually get into the access point. And then uh, you can do some other things here with diagnostics. You can reboot it obviously and do some other ping tests. You can reset the factory defaults and then you can go down here and do a firmware upgrade. And then this last screen here shows you the status of everything, default gateways, that type of thing. Um, so this is pretty easy setup depending on what you want to do. I mean, it's it's a pretty straightforward process to get this thing on the network and set up. So if you guys have any questions down below, feel free to let me know and uh, stay tuned for more videos.